story uh, and scary to a lot of people impacted by this. Good morning, Drew and Ashley. Yeah, pretty scary for, I'm sure, those employees involved, but also for the people who were shopping here. Now, the Walmart does appear to be operating as normal this morning. You can see people uh, waiting for the doors to open. They open here at 6 o'clock this morning, so definitely the store back open again. Now, this all after an incident last night where a man attacked several employees after trying to get away with stealing something and then spraying the employees with bear spray. This morning, we are learning the identity of the man involved in this incident. Greeley police said the man is 29-year-old Vince Joe Pacheco. Now, we don't have a photo of him just yet, but we know that he is being charged with third-degree assault on an at-risk adult and three other counts of third-degree assault as well as aggravated robbery and theft. So here's what went down. We're told by Greeley police that it was around 1.30 yesterday afternoon when Walmart employees were trying to stop Pacheco from shoplifting when Pacheco sprayed three employees with bear spray. Then a fourth employee, who was about 70 years old, tried to subdue him, but he hit the employee in the head with the bear spray can, causing the can to rupture and then contaminate the whole store. Pacheco was able to drive away after this, but hours later was found about five miles down the road, and that's when police took him into custody. This was just before 9.30 last night. Now, bear spray can cause temporary loss of sight, nasal congestion, and difficulty breathing for humans. So Greeley Fire and EMS crews did have to treat the employees on scene, as well as some customers who inhaled some of the spray as well. Now, the Walmart did have to be decontaminated and was closed for a few hours yesterday evening and uh, opened up at about 8 o'clock last night. So, again, things operating as normal here in Walmart. But because of all the confusion and the bear spray in the air and people running out of the store, Greeley police said they actually got calls about an active shooter situation in this Walmart. But when they arrived on scene, there was no active shooter and no guns here uh, on the property. So that is the good news. Everyone's safe and sound here in Greeley. Live in Greeley, Carly Moore, Fox 31. All right, Carly, thank you. Time now, 6.05, the parents of the Michigan.